What's up traders, Matt from the Trade Brigade here doing a technical analysis on ticker symbol AAPL for Apple Inc. On the left hand side we have the daily time frame and on the right hand side the 30 minute intraday time frame. First things first, this will of course be an update, we talked about it just yesterday, it's also a stock I watch very closely and give commentary on over on the main channel every single Sunday for the weekly watch list. What I need to make you aware of is that in the after hours the stock's momentum has actually picked back up, we know that Apple has been a relative strength model monster it closed at new all-time highs today and again in the after hours session we did make an after hours all-time high right so we want to know where that is at 173.86 we want to know where the forecasted opening print is and while we're at it we may as well mark off today's high of day so with those numbers in place what we're about to discuss is a framework please adjust them accordingly because these are subject to change by the time the bell rings at 9 30. with that out of the way let's turn that back off let's focus in on the 30 i guess we'll do it on the 30 today uh, we'll take a look at the right hand side we'll adjust this so it's a bit easier on the eyes there we go and we have a couple scenarios to watch out for because we are opening on a gap up so scenario number one whenever you're gapping in either direction could be up or down uh, is the gap and trap right and what that looks like is opening here failing to attract new buyers up and over the overnight high trading lower through the open to close the gap to today's high of day that's at 171.58 of course that is a bearish trade and apple being probably the most liquid stock on the market you'll have no issues shorting it or you know using puts to synthetically go short so no issues with that when we fill the gap if we fill the gap you will be watching out for hammer candles that print indecision doji candles that print anything that makes you question the strength of the sellers noting that we could potentially get a gap fill reversal meaning that we would move higher up and over the highs to get back into that overnight high here at and around 173.86 as of right now remember that that number is subject to change so those are a couple of instances if we get a downside move out of the gates looking for the gap to fill and then the gap fill reversal uh, again apple just being so relatively strong to the market i would definitely watch out for some bullish trade ideas here and be extremely careful if you do decide to short this for the gap fill itself okay so please be careful if trying to play this to the downside the second scenario the one i'm sure a lot more people are thinking about the one a lot more people want to pan out would be opening here putting in an immediate bull flag or maybe it looks something like this it looks like an ascending triangle higher lows flat highs basically anything that sets up a breakout up and over the overnight high look for longs you know into blue sky territories it's as simple as that probably looking at 175 as a nice round number for uh, psychological resistance after that whole and half dollars intraday levels that do form please do remember that apple really likes the whole numbers and the half dollars okay not so much the quarters but the whole and half dollars apple is a big fan so keep your eye out for those types of levels anything else we can really read into and eh, not a whole lot um, another instance or another just thing to pay attention to right is how much of the gap actually does fill you can always use this as an extra piece of information if you look at today's session right we opened here on a gap up we start to fill it a little bit we actually don't fill the entire thing that's a big sign of relative strength correct noting that the sellers didn't do what they should have done repair the structure and then the buyers take back over right so that's another piece of data you can use if you do something like this and fill partial uh, you know partial amount of the gap and then trade back higher up and over the uh, you know high of day or whatever it happens to be that's probably a good sign that again the sellers didn't do what they should have done the buyers are taking control and maybe you get a move higher after that so keep in mind how much of the gap if any actually fills and that is a good piece of information as well to help you out with your bias on the day that's really going to wrap up the video if you enjoyed it or learned anything new today let me know in the comment section or by giving the video a thumbs up don't forget our main channel is linked in the description and all of that being said i wish you a green trading week